in just one moment we will swear in Ms. Joshi. She'll give an opening statement. Um, I'll then uh, refer to the chair of the Transportation Committee to ask the first set of questions. Uh, members will be able to ask questions, and I'll have some concluding questions at the end if they're not covered. Let me welcome Councilmember Jumani Williams from Brooklyn, another member of the Committee on Rules, Privileges, and Elections. Um, at this time, again, welcome uh, Ms. Joshi. Uh, let me ask you to raise your right hand to be sworn in by Committee Council. Um, and then make your opening statement. And thank you again for coming up this morning. You're welcome. Good morning. Do you swear to tell, tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so help you? I do. Thank you. And if you would go ahead and proceed to give your opening statement. Thank you, thank you very much, Speaker Mark Riverito, Chair Lander, and Transportation Chair Rodriguez, and members of the committee and other members of the council who have joined for this opportunity to appear before you and answer any questions you may have. I would also like to take this opportunity to thank Mayor de Blasio for the great honor and privilege of being nominated to the position of Chair and Commissioner of the New York City Taxi and Limousine Commission. I appreciate the magnitude of the position and I'm certain that I have the skills and experience necessary to fulfill it. The people and businesses licensed by the TLC are responsible for moving over one million passengers in New York City every day, third only to the city's subway and bus systems. I have a deep understanding of the rules and laws that govern them, and I am well versed in the often competing concerns of these industry stakeholders. I have more than a decade of New York City management and oversight experience with a focus on uncovering abuses of power. And I've earned a reputation for fairness, sound judgment, and fact-based decision-making. Having served the public for the majority of my professional life, I've, <clears throat> I have an appreciation for earning and keeping the public's trust. If I am confirmed, my priority goals are to set a new bar for driver and vehicle safety, provide equal access to for hire transportation, services and ensure that drivers can earn a sustainable income and provide passengers with seamless service. I look forward to working with all segments of the industry and the council on behalf of its constituents to further elevate New York City's world-class for hire transportation system. Thank you very much for that opening statement. Let me uh, call council members' attention in your book here to uh, Ms. Joshi's answers to some questions that were prepared and, and asked uh, subsequently, which we make a uh, matter of the public record, and also to her resume, which includes her stint uh, for three years as Deputy Commissioner for Legal Affairs and General Counsel at the New York City Taxi and Limousine Commission, three years as First Deputy Executive Commissioner at the New York City Civilian Complaint Review Board, uh, six years at, at the New York City Department of Investigation as an inspector general there, and first deputy in the Correctional Services Unit, overseeing, uh, performing the inspector general role in relationship to the Departments of Corrections, Probation, Juvenile Justice, uh, and the TLC. And I won't read the whole resume, but it's in your folders. Um, and I'm very pleased to say that for this time, this hearing, uh, there aren't, to my knowledge, any, uh, I haven't received questions about uh, your previous work for relationship fundraising for the mayor, for other candidates. Um, so uh, my hunch is that most of the questions will surround uh, policy issues in relationship to how you view leading the TLC.